Okay, we hate to say this, but Valentine's Day is just over a month away. And to prepare, residents of a North York retirement home are sharing their tales of love and marriage to a group of millennials who wanted to learn the secrets of happy relationships. Talk to you again. Okay, bye. It's the first time that Doug and Joan have talked about it, their relationship on camera to a complete stranger. Farah is very easy going, you, you, you like her straight away. Farah was here to document their 12 year relationship, a second marriage for both. Life is so short mm. and you have to make the best of it while you can. They told her about their lives together, how Doug called Joan a sweetie on their very first date. Yeah. And he's called me sweetie ever since. All I don't, I think in all the years we've been married, I think he's called me Joan five times. <laughs> and after a day of recording, they meet up once again to take a look at the footage. This is a project called Real Youth that puts young, aspiring filmmakers in unfamiliar territory. For the past four years, different groups have been visiting retirement residences across the country, documenting life and love. It's really interesting for a 20-year-old to sit down with a couple that's been together for 68 years. I think that it's just really important for young people to get that perspective as they're going out into the world and, and forming their own relationships. A retirement residence is perhaps the perfect place to discuss longevity. After all, 21st century relationships can be fickle. Everybody's texting, everybody's Tinder, left, right, you know, clubbing. But like, you never hear a relationship that lasts more than a month these days, you know? You guys don't know what Tinder is, do you? Uh, I'm, I'm glad I don't. <laughs> <laughs> and along the way, there were other questions, too. How they spend their time together, how they relate to one another, and how they stay together. That was giving them a lot of insight as to seniors, uh, type of lifestyle, mm -hmm. which I think is an experience for them as well. Farah's experience says it all. Like Doug and Joan, they're so exciting and their age amazes me. Like all the stereotypes I had is like shattered. One simple project that's helping them gain a new perspective and perhaps a new friend. There were many other students who spoke to many of the couples there at uh, the, the retirement mm -hmm. residence. And of course, you know, you always hear this. Yes. The number one piece of advice from couples whose marriages have lasted a long time, mm -hmm. don't sweat the small stuff. Just like being an anchor, don't sweat the small stuff. Yeah. yeah. Oh.